So, uh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Fishing North Atlantic. I was out getting my, uh, strings that I let soak for way too long, and I noticed something on this little island. There's a boat there. <laughs> so I thought I'd stop by and take a look, <laughs> and there's literally a boat. How did you do that? I mean, is there high tide in this game and you got beached or something? Like, that's actually seriously impressive, dude. So, uh, yeah, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Fishing North Atlantic. Today is going to be, I feel it, a good day. Last episode, we caught way too much fish, so I'm going to get smaller string sizes. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna go out today, and I really hope... Well, first of all, I really hope I can dock right now, and yes, I can. But I really hope we can earn, you know, an extra 500k or so, so we can buy the next upgraded boat. Because don't get me wrong, I like the Snar Set. Oh, actually, it's not called the Snar Set anymore, by the way. I decided to change his name to Thick Chunk. I mean, because it is a Thick Chunky boy, so, uh, yeah, it is now the Thick Chunk. Ah, perfect, and we got some new redfish locations, because when I went to grab my strings, the fish have seemed to have vanished, so let's actually check. I seem to really like redfish in this game. Is it still back down there? Oh, dude, I am following them. Like, I'm actually doing this right. I placed this one because I assumed that's where they would go. And now we know they are seriously schooling in this game and going down this way. So I guess we can delete some of these older ones and just continue on following these guys. Kind of frustrating I have to go as far as basically I can in this game to get to these fish, but clearly, as we've seen in the last episode, it's working well. So let's keep continuing to do that as it is working so well. So yeah, we're going to uh, set up my boat here. Let's get some new fishing gear. Now I have to decide what kind of lines I want. 10,000 hooks, way too much. Honestly, I'm thinking 2,000 hooks would be good. Plus the fact that I can store 40 lines on my boat, it kind of makes sense to not go crazy with the biggest lines. So yeah, we're gonna buy, these are 2,000 each. I'm just gonna buy a bunch of them. I don't even know. I think 15 should be good. And I'm going to bait them with random things because we're not just getting redfish. But yeah, we'll bait the majority of these with krill, as that's what we're focused on. But I do want to fo focus on some other fish as well, so we'll kind of randomly just do this. All right, I'm also going to fire a pearl, just because I really don't need four people with long lining. And everyone else kind of has their place here. They're rather good stats. Um, we have a really good cook here, as you can see. So yeah, pearl doesn't really help with too much. So, goodbye, pearl. You are now fired. And that drops the crew cut to 6.6 .6 instead of 8, so that should help us out. Any little bit counts. So yeah, let's head out and see if we can get lucky today and buy a new ship. One other thing I'm curious about is always in this very far corner, as you can see on the right, there's these boats. These four just left that area. What the hell is going on down there? Is that like the mother load of fish? Or is the fish or the boat AI dumb and just gets stuck in the corner of the maps? You know what, let's check the, the other corner. No, there's nothing in that corner. Top corner? Anything? Nothing. Okay, that makes me curious. Maybe we should go over there later. All right, and here we go. First line. These are 200 meters. This is a little better <laughs> than the 1,000 meters we were doing before. I don't know how many I should set. I always get unlucky and set too many. Uh, it's looking rather decent in the water. Definitely not as good as it once was, but that's fine because I don't want too much fish anyways. <laughs> I feel so weird saying that, but <laughs> when I killed almost 100 thousand kg of fish last episode. I really don't want to do that again. Okay, definitely a lot less fish around us now. What the hell is... That doesn't even make sense. Why is a crab swimming <laughs> at the surface? Oh, man, I have so many questions. But yeah, definitely a lot less fish. So I set out four lines so far. I think that's good enough for right now. That's 8,000 hooks, you gotta remember. Uh, so even if we're not on the fish as much as we were last episode, that should still be a good amount. Now, obviously, once we grab those, I hope I can drop out some more lines out here. So as we go back, we're not wasting time. And we're letting those lines soak as we're selling the fish. So yeah, I'm gonna head over to the edge of the map now, just because I'm curious. Okay, and man, somebody is living large over here. Jesus, look at this boat. Yeah, we got so, like some sort of cruise ship here, the Cat, Maine, Nova Scotia. Hey, oh, it just honked at me. It's pro it's pro it probably doesn't want me to be here. I should also mention there's a crap load of fish here, so this might actually be a good fishing spot. We might have to come back here later. Oh my God, look at the back of it. What's going on in here? Like, I, I'm, I'm curious at what the hell this thing is. All right, moment of truth. What do we have on the lines today? Ah, uh, there's at least a couple fish, so that's good. I gotta remember how to do this, it's been a while. Uh, 
Oh, wow, 15? Okay, so we might have a full thing here. This one's really swinging, Jesus. Okay, and let's see the damage. I'm getting a little nervous. We got four lines out, so if it's 10,000, okay, that's not bad. That's actually not bad at all. We're, we're definitely not gonna fill the boat, but it's better than going overboard as well. So maybe I should drop like five lines next time. Second line also 15, so another full line. So it should be another, you know, 6K or so. And, ooh, actually 8-8. Eight, eight. Okay, we might be getting bigger and bigger. I just got 100 tons of haddock. Uh, just got an achievement for that, so yeah. <laughs> Doing pretty good here. And 7-6 for the third line, so yeah, we're at 23. We definitely can do five lines. Before we leave, we'll drop five out here, and then we should hopefully have a full soak by the time we get back. All right, and there we go. Four lines done. That should have been a perfect. That was damn near perfect. Holy Jesus. Okay, that ending line, I wasn't getting too many perfects either, so clearly this is the spot to go. Um, so yeah, we ended off, that was actually almost perfect, 37,000 kgs out of the 40,000 we could get. Ah, oh, that feels so damn good. Okay, so I'm going to get one of these guys on, not long, long haul, prepare gear here, and we're gonna drop five, and then hopefully head in and get out in time. Just to play it safe, I'm gonna save my career, though. I don't, I've never actually timed how long it takes to get inside. Just because we're so far away from shore right now, it might take too long, and uh, we'll have to revert the save if that happens, cause uh, yeah, I do not want to waste these hooks. Okay, prices are not hot right now, unfortunately. Um, anything good? Yarmouth might still be the best. It's still mid-90s for the majority of them, unfortunately it's like swordfish. What's the other green one at the top? Cod is wor worth a lot, but Cod's not worth much to begin with, so that's a little unfortunate. And then the really expensive ones like Pollock are actually at the bottom here, so I don't know where to go. Yarmouth ma makes sense because it's eight hours away. Um, according to the fast travel, that is. Um, actually, that was Dennis that I checked, so Yarmouth would be a little further. Whew, 10 hours, I'm gonna be over, over time. Seven hours for Lockport, how much is Lockport? That's the problem with me doing it this way, is I think I'm going to oversoak these. Yeah, Lockport's mid 80s to 90s, so let's try Yarmouth and hope for the best here and see what happens. All right, if I wanna have a chance, I need to go to Dennis Point, guys. Um, we're already at, last I checked, an eight hour soak. Nine hours now on the first one. This is gonna cut it so close. Um, because, yeah, blue's usually like 16 hours, so we're technically going to oversoak, but I don't know if we're going to ruin the hooks like we usually do. So, I don't even know how much Dennis was worth. It's probably not going to be much. Actually, that's not bad at all. I'm not complaining. 277k, I'll take it. Now, I'll just rebate these lines with mostly krill and get back out there as quickly as possible once we refuel, of course, as well. Okay, I don't want to jinx it, but we might actually be good. Still red. My boat is coming. Oh, dude, I might have did this almost perfectly. Actually, we might even have some time to relax for a little bit. Now, I did notice, though, I, I accidentally left uh, 3,000 kgs on the boat. I thought they were done, but they weren't, so... Um, yeah, we probably will go overboard this time. But look at that. You can't get much better than that. Now we have basically an hour to wait, and then we're good to go. Okay, it is dark out. I can't see a damn thing. Let's see. We got 14, so we didn't even get a full line. So I'm definitely glad we put out the extra line now because we don't have the perfect amount anymore. All right, let's see the damage, though. Oh, okay. Didn't fill the lines, but obviously we got some heavy fish on those lines. We're definitely going to go overweight now. Oh, man, that's hilarious. Next line had even less fish. We're at 13 now, so we're definitely going away from the fish, I feel like, now. So we might have to pull back a little bit. But, uh, yeah, we still should be totally fine. And, yeah, that one only had 6,700 in it, so... Ooh, we still need 20,000 with uh, three more lines. So we're going to have to get decent here. All right, I pretty much nailed this. We currently have 35,000 kgs in the bank right now. If I didn't accidentally bring that extra 4,000, I think this would have been the perfect run, and we're back on the 15 fish. So if this gets like 8, 9K, it would have been the perfect. We're definitely going to go over, that's for sure. But I guess it's better to go slightly over than be way under, so I'm really glad I put out that 
final line. Okay, getting a lot of perfects in this one, so this should be pretty damn good. And... Oh, okay, I was like, I, I was only looking at this. I lost almost 10,000 kgs of fish. So yeah, I assumed that was gonna be one of my better lines. That was actually the best line, so... Yeah, we got a full boat once again, though. That's the important part. Uh, so I'm gonna go a little bit north here just to get a little bit closer. You know what? Let's try some shallows here. See how we can do just because I don't want to rush sailing. Okay, found a nice spot here as you can see. So yeah, we'll drop some lines here. Um, that should at least allow me not having to rush around like crazy and there should be a decent amount of fish here, obviously. All right, prices still aren't so hot, but I went to Yarmouth this time because our fish are closer to shore. And there we go. So yeah, we're, we're stable at about 300k. Give or take a few grand. All right, so I can't complain with that. We got 950 in the bank now. Now, how much is the next boat that I want? I'm just curious. Okay, the one that I want is 1,150,000. So we're definitely gonna need some money for some upgrades too. So we're gonna wait for that. We should, let's go check how long we've been soaking for. Uh, nine hours for my first lines here. I moved up ahead as you can see a little bit because I wasn't on much fish over here So hopefully these are decent because I need to get paid today. Okay, and surprise surprise I am just on time again pretty much. Oh my god. Look at that. How could you get any better? Oh, I'm a little worried about these ones though. This is not a location we've fished before so we'll see how it is No fish were caught low Poppy. Uh, I should have just stayed where I was! I like how it says low population though, and there's clearly fish down there. So what the hell, man? Am I not supposed to go by sonar? Hey! Hey, the other ones have fish! Okay, I only have two here, but if I can keep getting perfects, this might actually be worth it. So I'm so glad I didn't put these ones by the other ones. All right, please be 10K. I would be so happy with 10K. Ah, uh, well, actually, I mean, that's not bad. I'm not, I'm not mad at that. I mean, considering I just randomly placed these, uh, lines, I guess I can't complain at all. And the totals on the second line are hopefully around, Oh, that's no fun. Okay, how much is that worth? 111k, so that puts me 100k from what I actually need. Now, I didn't think about this though. I actually have a boat, right? The wonderful Lenore. Um, yeah, you know what? Goodbye, Lenore. You you were fun, but I need some money because the Knots Guilty is really, really expensive, but this is what I want to get into next, and this is lobster and crab. I know you guys have been requesting it, and god damn it, I'm buying it. All right, and there is the beautiful wide lady. My god, why are my boats so fat? The other one was tall, this one's wide, but uh, yeah, we're gonna have to upgrade this thing as well, uh, which I will do probably before the next episode, but yes, in the next episode, we're actually going to go into lobster and crab fishing, which I'm obviously very excited about. We've done a lot of this generic fishing in this game, and now it's time to get some of those crustaceans of the sea, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.